So what's the best, fastest way to thaw a frozen steak? Hot, hot. Well, according to science, the answer is not thawing it at all. Food scientist Guy Crosby claims that if you take a, a steak right out of the freezer and just throw it on the grill, it's gonna taste as good, if not better, than if you spent all that time thawing it. His experiments showed that frozen steaks browned just as nicely, lost 10% less moisture, and there was less overcooked meat between the sear and the thick, pink, meaty part of the steak. Now, the science of all this comes down to two critical chemical transformations that a steak has to go through to turn from a, a frozen slab of meat into supreme yumminess. So first is the sear. It's very simple. You take the frozen steak, you put it in a pan that has some very hot oil in it, and you wait for the whole thing to start turning brown. The browning of the meat occurs because of the Maillard reaction, which is a chemical reaction involving the proteins and the sugars. Now the goal here is to get the outer layer of the steak nice and crispy, and this is where a frozen hunk of meat actually comes in really handy. Not surprisingly, the frozen steaks took longer to finish cooking in the oven, about 18 to 20 minutes versus 10 to 15 for the thawed steaks. What we did find to be surprising was that the frozen steaks actually browned in the skillet nearly as quickly as the thawed steaks. The greater the temperature differential, the less overcooked meat there will be between the sear and the center of the steak, creating a tender, juicier steak. So the next step, you throw this seared sucker into an oven preheated to 275 degrees and cook until the inside is a nice, even 125. And like all of us, it's what's inside that counts. Same goes for a steak. Now, a steak gets its flavor when the fats inside are rendered and turned to liquid. At 130 degrees, the steak starts to push these liquids out. Less liquid in the steak, less taste. Guy Crosby found that when you took a frozen steak and thawed it, you lost 10% of the moisture. So the same rule applies. Frozen steak retains more of that moisture. Oh, also, it's good to note, Crosby suggests that when you do freeze a steak, you lay it on a piece of parchment paper, put it in the freezer, let it freeze fully, then take it out, wrap it in cellophane, and put it into a Ziploc bag. This will prevent freezer burn and help retain even more moisture. So now, uh, due to fire regulations and my tendency to be completely accident prone, uh, we're not actually allowed to use any fire out here. But uh, instead, we're gonna use a little bit of Hollywood magic. No, 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 that's too much. That's way too much magic. Just bring it down. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Mmm, that looks good, doesn't it? Ooh, I'm gonna put one of these steaks right on there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, now we're cooking with charcoal. Now, also, don't be a dummy. Don't go out, spend a bunch of money on some Wagyu Kobe beef and throw it in the freezer. It's always gonna taste better fresh. This just applies if you have some leftover meat. It's gonna be fine if you freeze it. Just don't thaw it. That's all I gotta say. Rate, review, subscribe. And hit me in the comments with your address if you got an oven that I can use to cook this steak, because these flames just aren't going to cut it. Magic.